troubadours, musica y magica. Soulfulness is open to the world if they're willing to dig deep inside of the dark precincts of their soul and allow that voice, not just an echo, to come forward. A quote by Dr. Brother Cornel West. A mere mention of the word troubadour conjures up a myriad of images and ideas in the collective imagination. Buskers and bards from a millennia past, nomadic poets, love-struck Romeos belting out serenades beneath balconies, chivalrous knights, guitar-wielding hitchhikers. The tradition of the troubadour is that of a wandering storyteller, a poet who transposes tales of love and adventure to music. The etymology of the word derives from akitan, meaning to compose. Troubadours historically referred specifically to the 11th and 12th century traveling poets who composed and performed complex verses about chivalrous love. However, as words often do, the term troubadour has taken on a life of its own, and I use it freely with artistic license here. For me, a troubadour is not solely a poet nor solely a musician and is not simply one who entertains but composes and further brings forth this creative work into the world to inspire. A troubadour is one who cannot be easily categorized or defined. One such example is Dr. Brother Cornell West. Quest Love writes, many years ago before he was a familiar presence on television, film, and radio, before he dropped his reader in 1999, a decade-spanning collection of this passionate, polymathic essays was recognized rightly as one of the most dynamic public intellectuals in America. Some people couldn't get a grip on Cornell West. What are you, they asked me, West says now, and I'd go, I'm a jazz man in the life of the mind. I'm a blues man in the world of ideas. I'm a participant. West elaborates, I always felt called to serve, to empower and ennoble as many people as I could, teaching, truth-telling, exposing lies, bearing witness, and being willing to love, live and die for something bigger than yourself. I had a passion and love of learning and wisdom that was inseparable from a love of music and the arts. I've never viewed them in any way as being separable. I've always loved to read, but I've always also love to dance. West has literally put his message to page, to verse, to rap, to oratory, and taken it all over the world. His is a message of love. Other subjects I have chosen to portray are embodiments of the traditional singer-songwriter dimension of the troubadour. Lassa de Sela, Valerie June, Emma Hoy, Mariam Gabri, Sophie de Buenos Aires, Tom Waits. Lassa de Sela lived an uncompromising and romantic life since her inception. Born into a lineage of nomadic musicians, she grew up with her parents and siblings in a school bus that crisscrossed Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. As a young child, she joined a circus troupe in France with her sisters and traveled Europe performing in the circus, writing ballads, and singing in bars. She wove together troubadour music from multiple continents, gypsy music and flamenco, Mexican rancheras, Americana blues, jazz, Portuguese fados, Russian lullabies, South American folk music. She sang in Spanish, English, and French. In the words of Fred Goodman, Lassa saw the world as imbued with magic and romance and cosmic design. A dramatic and poetic outlook she expressed with wit and lyricism, and one who had been urged from an early age to treat life as an adventure. He goes on to write, as her music attests, she felt life intensely and was both enraptured by the mystery and deeply bruised by the realities of love. The sublime, poignant, and unique creative work put forth during her all too brief life continues to inspire listeners all over the world. While the above mentioned troubadours West and the musicians compose and express poetry and love through writing, oral storytelling, discourse, song, and musical composition, other subjects I've chosen to include, such as Bach Wah and Mike Tyson, 
create and share physical stories through movement, i.e. Chinese martial arts and boxing. These traditions like that of the Troubadour are rich with allegorical illusions, travel, adventure, humility, and love. The champion of the world, Mike Tyson, from childhood embarked on a journey to overcome grief, loss, poverty, crime, through unparalleled physical discipline and practice, eventually leading to spiritual inquiry. For Tyson, man is not meant to be humble. He is meant to be humbled. His journey continues as he experiments with altered states of consciousness, shares his inspiring stories of triumphs and tribulations, and lends voice to other storytellers through his journalistic interviews. On the surface, my new body of works may appear more eclectic than ever. While some of the works compositionally are representative of classic portraiture, others are engaged in movement and action. In some cases, they are even captured in the moment of creative inception. The subjects are of various generations, eras, nationalities, ethnicities, cultures, religions, and genders. Yet what binds them all together like song lines are that, for me, they are troubadours in the truest sense, moving brightly through the continuum with insatiable curiosity, courage, a deep devotion to spiritual awakening, a veneration of creativity, and a generosity of spirit that is compelled to inspire.